how does Atacama do that? How, what are the sort of protocols and lessons that you learn internally in managing your own data stack? Start kind of with the cultural thing, right? Like we have in Atacama this culture that uh, that we we call unlimited playground, right? So we have uh, we have people that can uh, go on and try, you know, doing different things for, where they f think basically that's gonna be best fit for them, or it's mm -hmm. gonna help the company, or it's gonna help our customers. But all the way at the same time, we need to make sure that there are no kind of a governance problem, like people accessing data sets they should not be accessing, people working with the tools that should not be working with or get, getting the information about the certain customers that are that, that is restricted. Now the same kind of a principle we are applying to our tools. We mm -hmm. are building tools that allow people to A, have fast and governed access uh, to the data to be able to experiment, to be able to sandbox, to be able to, uh, you know, test the, their theories uh, on the data sets and uh, doing that all of that in a in a properly governed way. So you have you have data access policies and force, you have uh, some kind of governance in place mm -hmm. that uh, allows you to not create mess once anybody do any kind of data management work or uh, data governance work on top of the platform, that information should be propagated to the rest of the company. And if the next person go and do the same thing, they should be at least giving a glimpse of that information.